Hello aspirants, welcome to Ekam IS Academy. Today we are going to discuss about recent Supreme Court key judgment on Delhi's administration that is with respect to Lieutenant Governor or the elected Chief Minister whose decision has to prevail in respect of appointment to Elderman. So who is this Elderman? What is this post? What is the tussle about? And why this particular case is all about? We will be discussing in a quick and informative way. Now let us discuss. So very first thing is there is an important announcement regarding TGPSC Group 1 main stressors which is about to start from 9th of August. So here we are going to conduct total of 88 tests including 600 plus questions for practice before the examination. At the same time you are going to write daily tests of 59, 12 sectional tests including 6 essay tests and 5 revision tests along with 1 mega grant test. So your answer copy will be evaluated and given back in 3 working days along with detailed explanation copy. Then there is also an announcement regarding essay and ethics module under the guidance of Oberizer. Sir is very good in guiding the students with respect to essay and ethics. He will give you the right approach how to approach an essay and how to increase your score in essay with ease. So in case if you are interested in joining any of the course, you can contact us on the number displayed on the screen. Right. So very first thing. Now let us understand what is the concept of Elderman. So what is the legal tussle between this particular Lieutenant Governor of Delhi and the elected government all about, right? So if you have seen today, today Supreme Court of India has uphold that Delhi's Lieutenant Governor has the power actually to appoint Elderman to MCD. MCD means your Municipal Corporation of Delhi. Let us understand what is this concept all about. So first, who is an Elderman? Elderman means older man. This is a actual meaning so older man in the sense who is experienced a person who is having experienced okay so experienced man you can say in any of the area then it is also called as head of tribal chiefs or tribal clans you can say so this is another term right so then you can also see in the recent times the viceroy Viceroy's generals also are headed by a term called Elderman. So if you see this concept of Elderman actually originated in 12th century in, ter in terms of municipal administration. So we used to call in municipal administration the person who is having expertise with respect to the affairs of municipal administration also as Elderman. Okay, so this is all the term you need to understand. It's simple. He is the person who is having experience in municipal administration and all other contexts we call him as Elderman. Let us understand now what actually happened. So Elderman as an institution in India, if you see, in India we have municipal corporations, right? So in municipal corporations, there will be elected members called councillors, right? So these councillors, they have certain right to nominate right to nominate certain experts who are having good knowledge of municipal administration, certain experts with respect to municipal administration and these experts are called as Elderman. So if you see these persons doesn't have any right to vote, they doesn't have any right to vote. They just participate in the affairs and they can maintain that particular organization in continuity or something. Okay, in that way, this elder man as an institution has originated. Then, if you see such institutions are also existing in UK and other parts of the world also. Then let us see what is the case of Delhi. What actually happened in Delhi? Why this all controversy started? So, if you know the nation capital territory of Delhi, it has a special status under Article 239AA, right? So, this was the article that is dealing with majority of the NCT Delhi. So, if you see here, there is a clear cut provision that even in the case of uh, recent case in NCT versus Union of India case. So, with respect to who is actually controlling the main powers and all, there is a Supreme Court case. In this case of 2018, what the Supreme Court said? Lieutenant Governor has to listen to the aid and advice, aid and advice of the Council of Ministers who are directly elected by the people. So this is what the judgment given. So what actually happened is recently this Lieutenant Governor of Delhi has appointed or you can say he has nominated 10 members 
to this municipal corporation of Delhi. So, in the post of eldermen, okay, who are these experts? So, then what actually happened is this was challenged on the ground that he doesn't have the power. Who have challenged this? Again, the state government. So, because of this, the operations of NCD have come to halt. Okay. So, they came to halt now. So, they are not able to function their daily things and all. So, then what actually happened? What is the Delhi government stand here? Delhi government is saying, as you know, under any particular state or anything, so under Article even 239A also, state government have all the powers. State government have all the powers with respect to state list issues and concurrent issues. Concurrent list issues except except land, police and public order. So, these generally will be falling under state list only for any state. But for Delhi, these things are not under their control. Except these things, all other matters of state list and concurrent list will have under, will be under the control of the state government. So, what is the Delhi government stand here? They are saying, as the local government, local government means including municipal administration, itself is under the state list, right? So, then who will have the power? It is the Council of Ministers who will aid and advise the Lieutenant Governor. So, based on their decision only, advise Lieutenant Governor. So, based on their de decision only, he has to appoint or nominate such experts to the MCD. So, in this way, they have justified their own stand, right? But what actually happened is Section 3 of this MCD Act of 1957. Municipal Corporation of Delhi Act 1957 is saying Lieutenant Governor can LG can appoint or nominate 10 persons, but it is not clear, right? That is why he appointed on his own. But here the Delhi government challenged that as the local government is under the state list, you need to follow our aid and advice. In this way, the matter went to Supreme Court of India and Supreme Court in its verdict today has clearly mentioned it is the Lieutenant Governor who will have all the powers to appoint any such elderman. So, you have to keep in mind, this is in context of Municipal Administration Affairs. He is nothing but an expert who is having an idea without having any right to it. If you have seen, same type of system we also have in Attorney General and Advocate General also. That person can participate in the proceedings of the House without any right to it right same way you can equate here also now let us discuss a practice question so first thing article 239 a was inserted into the indian constitution by which constitutional amendment among the amendments which is the right one related to article 239 a try to put your answer in the comment section then as we have reached the end of the video, today we have discussed about what is this controversy of Elderman surrounding Delhi and what is this recent Supreme Court judgment. We already have seen the institution of Elderman and who is actually having the power according to MCD Delhi Act along with practice question. So this is all for this video. If you like the video and found informative, let us know in the comment section. Thanks for joining us. See you again.